This is going to be the ice bucket challenge, the way it should be done, ice bucket challenge. This is for ALS, uh, which actually stands for a myotrophic lateral sclerosis. It's a crippling disease. It's commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. What's interesting about Lou Gehrig's disease is he actually set the Major League Baseball record for most consecutive games played. He played 2,130 games straight, straight in a row, no breaks. It was considered to be unbreakable until Cal Ripken did it, and that dude was old. Lou Gehrig had to retire from baseball at 36 when he was stricken down by ALS. ALS is a, uh, is a dominant mutation. There's four different genes associated with it. Each one dominantly can make you have ALS. It's a terrible disease that effectively cuts off all function of your brain and spine to your muscles. Literally, your muscles will not function anymore. It progresses very quickly once it sets in. It starts off, you can't walk, you can't move. It progresses till you can't breathe and you die. Lou Gehrig had to retire from baseball at the age of 36. He died by 38. That's two years from I'm playing baseball to I'm no longer alive. As of right now, they don't even know what causes it. We've identified four genes. We have no idea what actually causes them to mutate or why it's more common in this or that age group. There is no cure. There is barely a treatment. There's one drug that the FDA has approved just to slow down the progression of the disease. There is nothing that stops it to this day. Right now, they're doing a lot of research with genetic therapy, with gene therapy. They've also started working with embryonic stem cells to try and find a way to rebuild people's bodies who are being destroyed by this disease. Those are the things that you should know about ALS. In addition to that, I talked a lot with my uh, classmates. No one has been taking any data on this, so we're going to get some data. I really want to see the effects of ice water on me. Now, we need to make sure we measure how much water gets on me. So first, I'm going to take my weight before. Who's ready to write down my weight? Now, no laughing. No laughing. I'm a heavy man. 236. 236. Got four five-gallon containers full of water. We're going to see how much of it hits me. I'm going to stand in this little tub here, make sure we collect a lot of it. All right, what's our water temperature? What do we got? It should be zero. What do we got? Five. All right, the water is five degrees Celsius. Who's got the one that says water temperature? It's right here. Five degrees Celsius. We'll take my temperature while I put this thingy in my mouth. It's going to take a little bit. This is a clinical grade thermometer. I'm going to my pulse right down 15, 10 seconds. My temperature, 98.2. It must be worked up because that's very high for me. I'm usually 96. Maybe I'm sick. Oh, blood pressure. I need an assistant from the audience for my blood pressure. Trevor, you got me? Yeah. All right, Trevor, hold this for a second. This one me. That's okay. Alrighty, I'm ridiculously hypertensive right now. I must be excited. That was 150 over 90. I took my blood pressure earlier for the people who are going to blow up my comments of how unhealthy I am. I'm only 135 over 90 normally, but right now I'm 150 over 90. If that was my normal blood pressure, I'd be going to see a doctor immediately after this. Is there any other data I need to get before? All right, you guys ready? Assume the position. I'm going to leave this on. All right, so the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Before, wait, i got to challenge people first. It's going to be a teacher challenge. I nominate my brother, Matt Patterson. He's an instructor at the OCS over in Newport, Rhode Island. I nominate Danison. You best do it. And Bappy, this is what you get for leaving us and not coming back. You best be on this. Whenever you guys are ready. Together, though. <laughs> All over my kidneys. All right, that was 20. Yeah, put put that thing on there. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Holy crap. What's going on? Make sure it's on the blood vessel. <laughs> That's not cool. That's not cool, man. I can't believe people do that. Hey, your mustache held up. <laughs> that's it. My blood so pressure went down, relax, so that's interesting. Tell me when you're not cold anymore. One, 125 over 85. 125 over 85. That's, that's not what I expected to happen. Oh, my feet are freezing. 
I don't I don't know if we were able to capture all the water that hit me, but this is all that's in the bucket. So that looks that looks good. By the way, I still feel very cold. So does all I think, the water. I think I only shivered for about ten seconds though. There's a good like five seconds where I couldn't speak. Let's bring one of these buckets over here. They're graduated on the inside, so this will roughly tell us how much water we have that actually hit me. So we had about we had about twenty gallons. The bucket captured about one and three quarter, and that was that was pretty awful. Let's let's get my temperature so we can so I can go towel off. Is there any other data I need to get? My weight. Oh yeah, my weight. Good. We'll, do, we'll double team it. You tell them what my weight is while I stick this thing in place. Two hundred and thirty-nine for weight. Well, grab the weight. It is 98.6, 98.6, yeah. a little bit higher. All right, that was the ALS bucket challenge. For those of you that I challenged, 100 bucks or the ice bucket. You have 24 hours to make it happen. Hey, you guys are awesome. Thanks for coming out for that. That was awesome. Red button? Oh, yeah.